Hey everyone, Neeraj here from the Pabli team and in this video, I will show you a way in which you can create a permanent token for your Facebook Ad Insight application. Now the Facebook Ad Insight application allows you to basically get any level of ad spent data and you can capture it automatically at your end and you can send it across to Google Sheet or just about any other application that you really want to send that data to. Now, the problem with Facebook Ad Insight app is that usually when you set up an automation with Facebook Ad Insight, the token that is given to you is usually valid for 60 days. Now, this means if you have an automation setup, you actually have to keep on going to Facebook again and again and keep on changing the token every 60 days. And during the time that token expires, you actually have a workflow which doesn't work at all because it usually gives an error message that the token has expired. Now in this video, I will be showing you a way in which you can generate a permanent token inside your application. The permanent token will actually help you to create a token from within Facebook and use it to get the data of Facebook ad insight as well as the amazing thing that it will allow you to do is that it will never ever expire. This means you can literally use the automation without even having to worry about the automation getting stopped at any point in time. So I will show you the process in which we will be capturing then a permanent token and how you can use it in your workflow. So the very first step that you have to do is just click on create a workflow and I'm just writing the name as Facebook ads insight token because this is just an example to show you how you can generate a token. Now, in this case, I will be uh, leaving this trigger as it is. In fact, what you can do is you can just run it on a schedule uh, and you can just define that you want to run this on a schedule and every 15 minutes. But what we have done is in the trigger step, we have set up a schedule that this workflow should be running every 15 minutes. Now, the next step is Facebook ads insights, right? So this is the next step that you have to choose. And what we really want to do is we want to get the ad accounts insight with date presets, right? There are multiple options that you can choose. Either way, I'm going to teach you the usage of these action steps in a separate video, but this video is actually focused on how you can get a permanent token that will never expire. Now just click on connect, right? As soon as you do that, a value pops in right here and you can see there are three entries that you have to make. You have to enter your ad account ID, you have to enter a date preset and you have to use an access token. Now, currently, if you see the note right here, it says the token will expire in 60 days and you need to generate the token as explained here. Now, this is an instruction that has been here uh, currently, but I'm pretty sure that this <laughs> instruction might be updated once this video is done but currently it shows the token will expire in 60 days and you need to regenerate the token as explained here and update the same in your workflow now if you go right here you can actually see the process in which you can generate a token and what kind of permissions you need to be getting for getting the token activated so the three permissions that are required by any token to run on Facebook ad insight is ad management, ads underscore management, ads underscore read and read underscore insights. So these are the three permissions that we need to uh, assign to our token whenever we want the token to be generated, right? So just to give you a reference, you do not need to do anything in this article at all. So we actually have three fields in front of us. Uh, we have to enter an ad account, date preset and access token. Now date preset can be today, yesterday, this month, last month. So what I will do is I will just write today as a date preset because I want the data from today itself. And then what I will do is I actually want to get an access token and that access token should be non-expiring. Ad account is something which I already have an ID of my ad account. So I will just plug it in uh, at the time of running this action step. So how do we generate a permanent access token, right? So the first step that you have to do is you have to go to developers.facebook.com, right? So this is the first step that you have to do. Now just click on my apps. 
okay and once you click on my apps you will be taken to a page where there are all kind of different apps uh, which are created within your account in my case what i'm going to do is i'm just going to create a new app right and i will be choosing the app type as business then i will be just clicking on next it is asking for a display name so i will just write a display name of maybe pably connect fb ads insight testing in fact it is fb ads testing one right so this is the name of the app that i have added and it is asking us for to which account you want to associate it uh, in my case the ad account is magnet brains llc so i'm going to use the very same ad account and then i'm going to create an app certain terms like facebook are not allowed for example you may not use so we are not allowed to <laughs> use fb so i will just write pably connect ads testing one and then i will just click on create apps it is asking me for my password and i just added my password and i am going to click on submit button right here and as you can see my app is now created by the name of pably connect ads testing one so because it is too much crowdy right here i will go back to developers.facebook.com again right because effectively we actually do not want to do anything on the page that facebook sent us to right so i will just go back to my apps and if you go to developers.facebook.com slash apps you will actually find that our app is now created i am the administrator of this app the app name is pably connect ads testing one right so the app is now created what effectively we want to do is we want to generate a token for this app right and this app will be working as an intermediary to actually pull the data from our facebook ads account so what i will do is i will now go back to this my apps page and the very first thing that you have to do is you have to click this magnet brains llc or whatever the business name is there in your case you just have to click on this business page link so i will just click this link right here and as soon as you do that you will be taken to this page which shows users people and these are the people which are connected in my account but actually you actually have to go to the system users right now after reaching the system users page you will actually find all my existing system users is, are right here now usually from an admin panel facebook does not allow you to create more than one system users even in my case you can see two system users because this is one system user which is created through a, a script uh, which actually facebook offered for conversions tracking so just ignore this system users but otherwise if you are trying to create a system user from this interface you will not be able to create more than one system user right uh, now just to give an example i will just try to add a new system user and i will just write the name of system user as pably connect and i will choose the system user role as admin and if you create that it will give you an error message that the maximum number of admin system users that you could have is one right so this is an error message that you will get now in cases like these the very first thing that you have to do is you can just assign the permission to the existing system users that you already have created inside your account so in my case i have already created a system users by the name of fb ad insight testing now this is the system user that is already created and i actually do not want to do anything else apart from assigning the permission to the very same system user right so the very first thing that you have to do is just click on this system user which is already created click on add assets and under assets go to add account and choose the add account for which you want to uh, give the permission to this specific system user and in my case i actually want to give permission to all the three assets these are all three different ad accounts for which i am running ads right now and i am just going to give that i want the entire permission to be given to these uh, ad accounts now before even clicking save changes what i will do is i will go to apps and there is just one more thing that i have to do the app that i have created already which is by the name of pably connect ads testing one i also want to select that app and i want to give the full permission to the system user that he can actually manage this app and once the ad account and apps permission has been granted what i will do is i will just click on save changes button and you can see that three ad accounts and one app is now being added to the system user now what i will do next is i will just click on generate new token 
and I will select the name of the app that I have already created once and I will actually give it three permissions. The first permission is read insight. The second permission is ads read and the third permission is ads management. And this is in my case, this scope has already been added to all of the tokens generated through this app. Right. So this is the scope that has already been given at my end. But in your case, it might be unticked and you actually have to make sure that you are checking in all these three permissions automatically at your end. So these are the uh, three permissions that you have to choose and just click on generate token after you uh, choose all the three permissions. I have to enter a code once. And I have to confirm my account once. Right. And it seems that the generate new token dialog has disappeared. So I will just choose the very same app again. And you can see one, two and three, three permissions are already ticked in. But just in case if they are not ticked in at your end, you just have to select them and just click on generate token. And you can see the token is generated and you actually have to copy and save this token as it won't be stored at Facebook. So just click on OK. I have already copied it. I'm just going to paste it in my notepad. And this is my permanent token that I can use anytime I want to use and see the Facebook ad insight result. So now what I will do is I will head back to Pabli Connect. I will paste my access token, which I generated just now. And my token will be something which will be permanent. It will not expire after 60 days. Now I just have to fill the ad account ID here. So I will just go back to business settings. I will be, I want to see the data of this Pabli Connect one time account. So I will just click on add accounts right here and under Pabli Connect one time, this is the ID of, in fact, you can just click to copy it on clipboard. So this is the ID of my ad account. So I, what I will do is I will just go back and I will click and I will enter the ad account ID right here. So my ad account is right here. The date preset is today that I want to see data for today. And this is a permanent access token. Now next, I will just click on save and send test request. And as soon as I do that, I actually have all the data right here, right? So you can see the amount of data that I have spent today. So I have spent around $406.57 till now. I have received a total of 1,754 clicks on my website on my landing page through this ad and you can see all different kinds of ad inside data right here. Now, if you remember, we had a trigger which was scheduled to run every 15 minutes. So now what will happen is every 15 minutes, this workflow will keep on uh, running and then the next step will be to fetch the data and based on the today, today preset, this data will keep on updating as and when the data uh, is changing every 15 minutes. And in the next step, what you can effectively do is you can define a Google sheet and you can send any specific Google sheets data that you want to send uh, to the Google sheet row. You can basically add a new row for this data. So now this is the whole process in which you can generate a permanent access token. In a separate video, I will show how you can send data to Google sheet. And I will try to add that video in the description of this video. So you can just see how the ad inside data can be sent to Google Sheets and how you can create nice looking data studio sheet through your Google Ads, through your Facebook Ads data. Now, let me just show you one interesting data studio sheet before you uh, move away. Now, this is one of the data studio sheet that I have created just a couple of days back, right? And this uh, actually data sheet shows a daily Facebook ad is spent which is happening on a daily basis. So for example, you can see on October 31st, I spent $1,300 on October 30. I spent $1,328 on November 1st because this data keeps on updating once every one hour. So currently it is showing an ad spent of 386.05. Uh, if you see right here, the ad spend data was 406.57. This is relatively fresh data. Uh, and that is why you can see a difference of 406 and 386. So you can just imagine this data is just one hour old because my scheduled is scheduled trigger is set up at every once in one and one hour. And how this data studio sheet is created, this data studio sheet is actually pulling in data from Google sheet 
and uh, to send the data into Google Sheet, I'm sending the data from by doing the very same step that I showed you right here. I'm just adding a new row for every in every 15 minute. Once the row is created, what I'm doing is I'm picking the maximum value of that day and I'm showing it right here because every 15 minutes, the same date can be there and every 15 minutes, the, the same workflow is running. So the value keeps on changing and it keeps on increasing in every single row. Then what I do is I just figure out uh, based on our date, I figure out what is the maximum value and I created this data studio sheet out of it. So just to give you an example and perspective on how things can be done by using Facebook Ad Insight app. And I actually have a very advanced data studio sheet as well, where I not just show the ad spend, but I also show the number of sales that has been done on any particular day. And what is the amount of revenue that I got from that sales um, corresponding to the ad spend data. So you can just see clearly how much money you are making on every single dollar that you are spending on ads. So I hope that this, this video might be useful to generate permanent token at your end. Just in case if you have any question, feel free to reach out to my team at forum.pabli.com and have a great day and thank you for watching this video and don't forget to get Pabli Connect just in case if you need any automation needs and you want to automate anything in your business. Have a great day. See you. Bye-bye.